cup bounded round the middle, shake a big feet and keep time a little. When you get home, remember your call, element left and promenade all. <laughs> Side cup, promenade around in the middle. Shake your big feet and keep time on the fiddle. When you get home, remember your call. Element left and promenade all. Side <laughs> cup, promenade around in the middle. Shake your big feet and keep time on the fiddle. When you get home, remember your call. Element left and promenade all. Kid's that smart on that harmonica. He sure is. Seeker, did you ever find out anything about the kid? Where him and the two dogs come from? You must have kin folks of some sort. No, don't care much who or what he was. Mighty good boy. Kind of interesting playing father to him. Judy likes him, and he's good company for both of us. Funny you never could tell. The way it looks to me is dang sad. That's what it is. Yep. Sorry affliction, to be sure. My Judy is teaching him reading and writing. Maybe that'll help some. Kickabout, that was grand. Sure fine music. What the thing we know? Yes, the harmonica too. Heavens, he's got me wind. Yes. You're going great, kid. You're improving all the time. Wish I could say the same for his lesson. It's a crack and fine going away party for old Seeker Dean. Hey, folks. This tantalizing mystery, this business of going away. That's plenty correct, Boone Jackson. We know and where he's going, but why? That's what's bothering us. Come out of your shell, Speaker. There's never been any secrets in these here hills. He's right. Maybe he's going to bring back a brand new mother for Judy. All wrong. I got something deeper in my heart than flinging about with romance. Oh, Father, please, please tell us. Out with it. Hold on to him, Judy. Make him come through. The idea of him having secrets from his own self daughter. The idea. If you're planning to bring home a stepmother, I'll leave at once for China. I refuse to share my father with the world's best woman. Hey there, Boone Jackson. Take this gal out into the moonlight before she wheedles me silly. That'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> What's he going away for? Maybe he'll tell us. <laughs> Dad's a stubborn old darling. Splendid character, your father. I wonder just why he's going away. Father admires you very much. That's fully news. He can't understand why you stay here among us plain people. Plain people? Wonderful people, all of you. He had a doubtful twinkle in his eye when I told him you were writing a book. You could have written ten books in the two years you've been here. Judy, you know what's keeping me up in these mountains? From the low downest to praying Alec here. I love every last one of you, and that's the truth. You ain't never showed any other feelings towards us, Seeker. Gold grubbing, fighting failure has worn you all haggard. My heart's bled for you. Yes, and I've prayed. Prayed as much as old Alec, until at last the Lord has given me my chance. When I come back from my talk with the Canadian government, You'll all be comfortably rich. We'll share and share alike. Have you found it, Seeker? The lost road. Have you found it? I have. It's been under our noses for 15 years. Where? I'll answer that 
after I talk to the government. However, I calculate to confide in one person before I leave here tomorrow. Naturally. That'll be Judy. Well, I ain't saying. <laughs> now, I think uh, the next order of business should be about three fingers of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Where's that confounded boy? Kick him out. Roust yourself in here. He's probably doing a spell of night fishing along the creek. <laughs> <laughs> Judy's mad with all those fish. She claims they're interfering with the boy's reading and writing lessons. Every day she leads him back from the creek by the ear. <laughs> <laughs> Could stand a little on myself with Judy's teaching. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that old lizard. Hey, Seeker, call Kazan. And the kid will darn soon come romping in here. Old fool, I am. Not to think of that myself. Oh, Boone, you say the most romantic things so beautifully. I'm looking for a boy and two dogs. He pours them most as expert as he fiddles that harmonica. <laughs> I say so. Oh. Remember, Tim Martin, let this be your last drink. Now, Martha. It musses up his brain. He's a roaming around all night a fighting mountain lions barehanded. He'll get killed. That's what'll happen. The old fool. <laughs> Sam, Sam, how are you, boy? Well, I'm sure glad to see you. How are you? Kick tell me he's been very happy here with you. You know the boy then? I'm Sergeant Kincaid. I sent him down here from the Bear River country. Well, sit down. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Kick about? I've come to borrow Kazan. Be seeing him in two weeks. Maybe sooner. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Yes, and I'll be uh, doing a powerful lot of praying. What to tell you about his drinking? Can't treat his liquor like a gent. Come on, let's go. Oh, Mark. Come on. 
Well, good night, Digger. Good night. <laughs> I'm glad to see the kid with such law-abiding people. Well, we're glad to have him. Kick invites me to bunk with these two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and himself. <laughs> Good night. Hope I sleep. Yes. Kazan, you better go bring Julie. Kazan, my chaperone. All right, Kazan. Had a glimpse of her tonight. Oh, so she's a pest, is she? Your intentions don't surprise me none. I was expecting this. However, I'm not saying yes. And I'm not saying no until I get back. And then I suppose it'll be yes. Thanks. I'll see you in the morning. Better forget fishing and keep your mind on your lessons. Wish I had a teacher like Miss Judy. First thing you know, you'll be sent to an institution. And give that dog a bath. What? You trying to put me out?
when do we start your first lesson, Sergeant? too safe for all of us living down there below it. It's been useless for years. When I get back, I'll have the government's permission to drain it. Remember, when I leave, you're the most important person in the Gulf. Thought you had to leave early this morning, Sergeant. Not without Kazan. He and the kid haven't been around for hours. Sergeant, I may need your advice when I get back. All right, Mr. Dean. In the meantime, take care of yourself. This letter is addressed to you, you infernal spy. Why, what? So, you're here in the interest of that swindling syndicate to rob us of our gold, eh? Now hold on here, Mr. Dean. We accepted you as an honest man, you scoundrel. Turn this car around. I'm going to have you run out of these mountains. About 12 o'clock. Sure I know. Should have trailed out of here long ago. Besides, it's none of your business. Glad you stayed for lunch, Sergeant. Kick and I would have been lonesome. Boom won't return for hours. Fine pair and charming company for the Royal Mounted. Thank you. Oh, 
What does he mean? Why, uh, nothing. I, uh... Is the royal mounted given to lying? Don't tell me. You needn't come back here ever. Besides, your horse is waiting, Mr. Sergeant. All right. You asked for it, and now you're going to get it. He asked me to marry you and stay here all the time. made the trip so quickly. Fire trouble. Your father went on in another car with some friendly strangers. <laughs> I thought you'd hit the trail a long time ago, Sergeant. Judy and I are going to be married when her father gets back. Thought perhaps uh, you'd like to be here for the ceremony? Goodbye and thank you. You will come back. Oh, surely. I have to return Kazan. What's the matter with Kazan? Oh, I see. You never liked the Jackson fellow. Remember, if you don't give more attention to your lessons, you'll never be a royal mounted. There's still hope, Judy. It might be a temporary loss of memory. Come on, your lessons. Judy, I'll read a while. over again, correctly this time, please. The people of the mountains mourn the loss of their friend, Seeker Dean. One year to a day. I wonder if she married that son of a horse fly.
I guess you did all right. Have you married him yet? How are you, Kick? It's the secret, Kick. Tell him. Get this horse out of my way. Glad you're back. You might cheer things up around here. Judy has been pretty much broken up, Sergeant. I'm afraid there's no hope. So how do you arrive at that conclusion? I've spent five months on this case. Personally, I don't believe Mr. Dean got very far out of these mountains. <laughs> Back to my writing. See you all later. Come on, out with it, quick. Where? Where? Put it on the board. Good thing he can't talk.
she's been shot. Who would do a thing like this? I wonder. Perhaps some stray hunter? Maybe. Easy, boy. Now. Easy. He's been gone a year today. Yes, I guess we never know what happened to him. And he was going to make us all so rich and comfortable. What makes you so skiddy? Who? I wonder how Judy's standing. That's what troubles me. She's broken hearted, the poor kid. I see that royal mounted sparking around there again, too. Hey, I don't suppose you have a... Uh, yeah, plenty of it. Go to it. You might as well make a clubhouse out of this place. Just, just, just a minute. I, I have my own. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pour one out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, help yourself. Here's looking at you. A bullet out of his hide. A little souvenir. It has a nick in it. Keep him on his feet so he don't break the stitches. Take him fishing. That's boom, not a word to him. The very idea. I have perfect confidence in Mr. Jackson. How Please. dare you? Your best interest. My orders. That's a sticker.
home, dear. You must take a copy. You're cleverer than we are. I'll give it a good try. Try hard. You know how anxious I am. You bet I will. How dare you give orders to me? I'd like to give you a good spanking. I'll thank you to mind your own business. All right. I will. Stay out. I hate you. Gun, eh? That dog is dangerous. He's a menace. You've got to put him out of the way. Here's your gun. I wish I knew what that dog knows about you. Now, wait a minute, Kincaid. I'll tell you to keep out of my business, and I'm not. You can't block me with that uniform either. up your dog killer. I don't believe it. Oh, if I were only a man. Chick, we can't let her marry him. If old Jackson gives my Tim another drink, I'll run him till he evaporates. I'm too busy to bother about your old Tim. I just thought I'd tell Well, 
What do you want? Kick about to solve the cryptogram. P23, O23, E24. Bug. Refer to Paul's story of the gold bug. Page 23 and 24. Found the location of the load, huh? Oh, you were listening. Sticker shoe, huh? We're leaving for the States tonight. Who? Oh, are you crazy? We're taking these with us for the big payoff. But my father's friend. I must keep faith. Ah, rubbish. Not back here soon. After him, we go. Come on, Kick, we must get him. 